Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Nestle's unethical business practices. How many of you have had crunch bars or butterfingers or even Nestle turtles? Well, what if I told you the majority of that chocolate is harvested by plantations utilizing trafficked and enslaved children? Nestle has had a long history of unethical business practices, including child labor and child trafficking, polluting the environment and knowingly ravaging natural resources from generations of locals using said lo resources. And these offenses still continue. Let's go ahead and look at their water. According to Chairman Peter Barbeck of Nestle, access to drinking water should not be a human right. He states, there are two different opinions when it comes to water. The one opinion, which I think is extreme, is represented by NGOs who bang on about declaring water a public right. That means as a human being, you should have the right to water. Now that is an extreme solution. Even though Mr. Barbuck revoked his statement after backlash, we can still see Nestle's position clearly in the ongoing California drought and in the Pakistan village of Bahati Diwan, which has no potable drinking water after Nestle dug their own well for bottling. The total disregard for the locals near Nestle's plant goes hand in hand with pollution. According to Tom Perkins of The Guardian on California Strawberry Creek, last year Nestle siphoned nearly 45 million gallons from the Strawberry Creek and nearly left every other creek in the surrounding area bone dry. Another example provided by Mahayandri is a 1997 report that found in the UK alone over a 12 month period, pollution laws was breached over 2,000 times in 12 months in over 800 locations. Now we're going to look onto the most unethical business practices in my opinion, the child trafficking and enslavement. A recent Supreme Court hearing saw Nestle being accused of human rights violations after six men claimed to have been kidnapped as kids to work in a cocoa plantation owned by Cargill and utilized by Nestle. They state Nestle knowingly and deliberately enslaved them to work with the coca plantation. According to Peter Waricki and Rachel Siegel, the world's chocolate companies have missed deadlines to uproot child labor from the coca supply chains in 2005, 2008, and in 2010. They have stated that they will reach another deadline, however, in the following year, however, Experts state they were likely to miss that one as well. A report from the Department of Labor states that more than 2 million kids are engaged in dangerous labor in coca growing regions in Africa. Nestle is the largest food brand in the world, and for them to be committing these business practices is disgusting. Today, I've talked to you about how Nestle is polluting the environment, denying natural resources to locals, and utilizing child trafficking and slavery. I would like to ask my viewers to do something. I would like to free all my viewers to boycott Nestle and their subsidiaries. While Nestle can ignore international regulations, government lawsuits, and the cries of the people they claim to be helping. They cannot ignore one thing, which is their bank account. 
Boycott Nestle products to save lives. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.